Good morning. It is May 18th, 2024, and it's a Wall Street Weekly Wrap-Up. And what a week. New high for the Dow. Commodities, super strong. Let's take a look at the week we got, because it was a good week. Not a lot of earnings, but we did get the king. Walmart, the number one retailer in the country, barely ahead of our second choice in the club. Uh, look at this. Holy smokes. Revenues rose 6%. And you can see a jump, man. That's a big jump. Everybody liked the earnings. A lot of people are in it. Uh, some big people are not in it, which I'm surprised, you know. They got out when Walmart had a little struggle about a year and a half, two years ago. But, you know, as long as company's making money and doing well, they've got the uh, well, private label that's doing well. Under five bucks every single item on their private label, which is good. Because people are looking to save an extra dollar. So they are the... You know, one of the best. We're waiting for Target. Then I'll put some of the retailer comps up. Uh, Google. Project Astra. Astra. Where did I leave my glasses? Oh, it's by the red cup on your desk. I was amazed. And, of course, Google. Up at all-time highs. All-time highs. That's a good time. You know, you had a chance to buy November. And then you got a little chance back in the end of uh, March, early April. But it's off to the races. They're strong in AI. I mean, this is going to be a choppy rise. I like a slow rise. This is a nice slow rise on the blue line. Um, and then the average, wow, double digits now in the S&P. Dow, 40,000 points the first time in history. You know, I wish I had a Dow 40,000 cap, but I think a Dow 50,000 is a big number to wait for. NASDAQ, right there even with them. Remember? Somebody was telling you to get out, you know, before the collapse in May. 25% it's going to go down. You got to get out by cheaper. He capitulated and said, well, just get back in. You know, Of course, nothing's cheaper. It went up a lot higher. So you're, you're not only sold at the, the point where you would have made more money, you, you're now buying it at a higher price than you bought it before, which is no good. So, you know, when you know, whenever you get somebody saying they're going to sell something and they tell you, I want you to sell, but I'm not going to, don't listen to them. You know, you just do what I do. You know, when I say I sell, I sell. You know, it's like I'm going to buy. Uh, the Russell, boy, not as much. Everybody was predicting, you know, particularly Tom Lee of Fundstrat was predicting a big small cap rally. It's up, but look at the S&P. Look at the NASDAQ. And the indicators, you know, interest rates are high. That means mortgage is not going to go down. Um, people are really having a hard time getting those houses. There's a lot of uh, you know, demand, but not a lot of houses at the cheaper prices. 483,000, the average house in the United States. Wow. I don't have a $483,000 house, but, you know, probably average for my town. Uh, crude oil, 79, which is good. Gas, a little bit above two. We expect it to come down, but we don't know. Gold, all time high. Silver, 31. Remember, we had 1980, the hunts got it up to 50 under speculation. But look at orange juice. Holy smokes. Another record. You know, it come down and went up. So, you know, oranges are cheap, but not orange juice. And Novacure uh, came out with revenues. You know, revenues up 13%. You know, Novacure, you know, has done well in these uh, clinical tests. Uh, they're on a phase three trial for pancreatic uh, cancer, which is a tough cancer to beat. And, you know, you put on the, uh, I call it the vest, but, you know, it targets the tumors and through magnetic resonation and seems to be pretty good. And uh, people are liking the news, so we're, we're seeing it going up. I think this eventually will be a stock that will be in the 30s, so you more than double it. But biotechs, you know, they are the fickle sector. Gold, highest close in history, highest. You know, we're buying at 1600 1800 Now we're just going to ride it, you know. When are we going to sell it? I don't know. I, I just look at it as gold. 5% of your portfolio should be in the precious metals or something similar to that. Uh, and then just let it ride. You know, that's your hedge in case everything goes to crap. You know, like Weimar Germany in the 20s where inflation just gets out of control. And if you had silver and gold, you could get by it. You could survive. Copper, highest close in history. Wow. I mean, this is a demand for... You know, now somebody's saying it's the data centers are taking up all this copper. Well, they are, but not that much. I mean, you know, the the computer chips are the expensive money, not the copper. 
But uh, we're going to get another data center in Elk Grove Village here, Hoffman Estates here. You know, number four in the world for data centers. Take a 100 mile circle around Chicago. SCX, which is the big gold miner, and our copper miner, mines also silver and molybdenum. And uh, look at that chart. That's solid up. That's a nice solid up streak. And uh, again, you know, a lot of people, you know, started buying in November, but that's okay. You know, it's not uh, unforeseeable that if this keeps on running, this thing's going to be in the 70s. And then some stuff we're looking at. Recursion is a NVIDIA-owned, uh, or not NVIDIA, invested um, biotech stock. And, you know, of course, biotechs don't make money, but it's been choppy. And uh, they've got the uh, BioHive 2 coming out, which is, you know, a bunch of GPUs by NVIDIA using uh, their processing to do decoding of industrial drug discoveries you know so the only trouble is we don't have anything out yet I mean you got this great idea but the idea hasn't made any money so not a big company but maybe you know just throw some money into it we're gonna look at it next week gotta wait till the partner comes back and then uh, SoundCloud or SoundHound you know I keep on saying they're the same thing but they're not uh, AI you know voice part of NVIDIA, um, you know, they, they use three, 21 million to run a company. You're thinking, you know, you're so used to dealing with billions of dollars. Small amount, uh, it's almost half of what it was. Not not a bad company maybe to, to deal with. I remember, oh, we got to go like 25 years, Active Voice, ACVC, and that got bought by Microsoft, which then incorporated that company into their voice technology. So, I, you know, everybody's thinking, well, what would it, what would it do? Well, if I can replicate your speech based on my uh, word pattern of, let's say, 1,500 words, that's going to be a pretty powerful thing. You know, next thing you know, you can just narrate the books that you just wrote by just clicking a button. It'll narrate it for you, be in your voice, and uh, pretty tough. Uh, Roche out of uh, Europe, uh, good uh, GLP-1 test. They call it CT388, 18% weight loss. Now, this is a stock uh, you may not be able to buy. You know, I, you know, when I look up RHHBY, it's a 4 and 80 R, but, you know, it's something to think about. You know, we, we missed uh, Lily, and you let it do, but we're in uh, Novo Nordisk and uh, Amgen, and, you know, I wouldn't mind getting one more in the sector, and I think, like I said, you know, you know, it's it's still in the, the early trials. Phase one doesn't really matter, and, you know, it's phase three, but uh, not a worth a nibble. You know, they're going to do well. They're a big company, but something else to think about. And, of course, Roaring Kitty has Keith Gill. You know, he's in the chair, and he leans forward, got a controller in his hand, and everybody jumped up gave him This is incredible. You know, the fear of missing out is so big in some of these people. There were people buying calls at, you know, 10 bucks. You know, I mean, look at this thing. This thing shot up to 65. You could have been in there the weekend before at, you know, 17 and tripled your money and just a amount of course. Of course, people who bought at 65 are wiped out, you know, or a lot of money. I hope they didn't put too much money, but, you know, they're thinking, oh, it's going to go to 400 again. Uh, no, they don't make any money. GameStop's kind of a dead stock. You know, you got to have something... If it's increasing revenue. That's why we watch it. The revenues don't lie. You know, the best indicator of first year success is the company does good on revenues. And GameStop's a flat stock, you know. And the week was good, I would think. Look at this. I mean, we had record high on the Dow. And uh, S&P and NASDAQ are over 10% this year. And it's pretty good, you know, across the board. I mean, you know, some of these reds like Amazon, which we own, and Meta, which we own, are not that bad. But... You know, just a pretty good solid set. You know, a lot of sectors had green in it, except for industrials. So, we'll see you next week, and have a good week and a safe week.